A very common challenge that I get asked a lot about in the 12 week challenge um, is, I've placed a trade, I'm currently running in the position, um, but the position's moved against me, how do I stay disciplined, how do I stay in control, those types of things. Um, and this is you know, quite a stressful part of, of a trader's journey where they get involved in a particular position, the position starts to run counter to their expectations, um, and now they're um, going a little bit crazy, they don't know what to do, they start making irrational decisions, they start going away from their plan, et cetera, et cetera. And then a lot of the times what ends up, ends up happening is that um, the position plays out how they initially um, anticipated, but because they, um, because they changed things, because they went away from their plan, they tampered with that particular position, they're no longer in the position. So this is a very frustrating component of trading. I would love to share my ideas on how you can completely eradicate this because there's a very small mindset shift or hack, or whatever you wanna call it, um, that will really help with this I'm gonna share in this particular video. Now, if it's the first time checking into the channel, first and foremost, welcome. Um, my name is Pat Bailuni and I'm the founder of Master Your Trading Mindset, which is an education and performance coaching business. And we work with traders all around the world, helping them overcome the psychological challenges they have and helping them accomplish goals like funding, for example. Now, if you don't already have a copy of the free Bulletproof Your Mindset tool, what are you doing? Jump in the description. It's gonna be immensely valuable, especially for today's video. Um, also have links to the 12 week challenge in our free Discord group, so be sure to check those out. Um, they will continue to add value to your trading, help you accomplish your goals um, and overcome psychological challenges that you may be facing. Now, when we talk about um, tampering positions that go counter um, or go against us, especially initially early on in that trade, the key thing here that you have to pay attention to is, and I talk about this a lot in my, in my videos, but I think if traders really build up self-awareness in the moment of taking that position about their expectations of what the position's gonna do, okay? So I've talked a bit about the virtual market in our head and the real market in real life. Now, the real market is the, real, the market that we have to respect. The real market's never wrong, um, and the real market's just gonna do what it wants to do. But sometimes in our virtual market, in our head, we create ideas of what we think is gonna happen. And we're looking at Euro dollar, it's looking good to sell off. Great, I'm gonna take a short Euro dollar. And in the virtual market in my head, I have an expectation that it's gonna, I'm gonna get tagged in and it's gonna go immediately in the direction that I'm calling. But you have to understand that in the real market, nobody really knows what's gonna happen next. So these expectations or these fantasies about what we perceive the outcome is gonna be in our head don't actually have any basis in the real market. And it's actually these fantasies and unrealistic expectations that we create in our head that drive a lot of the emotions that happen in the real market in, in when we're trading. Okay, so this is a really key shift that you could do to help not be deterred or not be emotional and move away from your plan when things don't go quite to your expectations. And the answer, the truth is, it's about not setting expectations on how you think the outcome is gonna be. Um, and this is a really cool shift that um, I think Mark Douglas talked about in his book, where he says that you wanna, instead of imposing what you think onto the real market and creating this idea in the virtual market, imposing that onto the real market, you wanna be open to observing what the market's actually gonna do. And I think if you shift this perspective from I know and I'm projecting that onto the market to I don't actually know what's gonna happen next, nobody really does, but I'm willing to observe what the market's gonna do and I'm willing and open to seeing what the market's gonna do. And, and you just create this next level of curiosity as a trader. And I'm gen genuinely curious about what the market's gonna do next. Now, so it's about removing these expectations of what we think is gonna happen. Because if we have a positive expectation and a positive feeling if you're a dollar sold off, the moment it moves against that expectation, that's pain. It creates a pairs of opposites. Pleasure is your dollar selling off, therefore pain is your dollar moving up, moving against what we said and moving towards our stop. So it's that expect that initial expectation that we create that your dollar is gonna sell off, go into the position with, that then creates the pain and the anxiety when your dollar starts to move against us, and that's what takes us away from trading our plan. So if you remove that initial expectation on the outcome, you then allow yourself to be present with the market, curious about what the market's gonna do, and just observe what it's gonna do next. And there's a very big difference um, 
when you don't have those outcome-based expectations, you give yourself permission to just execute according to your plan. The market communicates to you and you make the wisest decision according to your plan. But when you have an outcome-based expectation, um, that's where you start to go away from your plan. That's start when you start to make irrational, emotional-based decisions. So the whole point here is you wanna be aware of those expectations prior, really ground any outcome-based expectations. So you're making process-based expectations. You're going into that position with the expectation that anything can happen, right? You're not addicted one way or the other to an outcome, but anything can happen truly. And the reason I'm taking this position isn't because I think it's gonna sell off. It's because it aligns with my trading plan. And I know if I do this hundreds, thousands of times, I'm gonna end up profitable. And that's really what it's about. It's about moving those expectations on the individual trade so you can give yourself permission to think in terms of probability over a larger sample space. And then a lot of these emotional strings that pull us away from our trading plan, trade to trade, they just disappear. And you're not focused about, this has to be a win, this has to be a win, I have to make profit on this. You don't care about that anymore. You just care about flawlessly executing your plan. Um, and this is where I see traders really take off. They become consistently profitable. Um, and they do immense, um, they do amazing things. They get funded, they scale those funded accounts, et cetera, et cetera. Um, now I talk about this particular principle in detail and specifically how to start rewiring the brain to become unattached to the outcome so you can stick to your trading plan um, in my 12 week challenge. Um, it's my signature program where I share all my theories and give you all the tools and all the accountability to ensure you actually change your brain. So if that's of interest to you, check that out. Um, but again, we've got the Bulletproof Your Mindset tool for free in the description. That's gonna help with what I covered in this particular video. 12 week challenge is just a mind blow. We're getting great results with that. Um, and also have links to the Discord group. Make sure you jump in there. Um, send me a message if you want. Um, and also have links to my recommended prop firms below. Um, so be sure to check those out. Um, but I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers.